Well, that was fun. Um, I didn't know we were stressed out a lot of people here in the peat, but uh, uh, I, I mean, I, I just told our team, I, I, you know, this is seven months in the making. And, um, you know, as soon as we came together, I told them that we needed to be different in how we do things each and every single day. And, you know, and, and I think that uh, the biggest thing is really, you know, changing the culture of the program and teaching them um, and instilling a belief in themselves and in our team. And, and I thought that, you know, tonight um, our mental toughness, okay, is, is why we won. And I'm not sure if, you know, we had this, you know, day one, you know. And so it's been, it's been a journey, um, but uh, I'm just super happy. We took their best punch. No question about it, and um, we did a great job of executing down the stretch and uh, and scoring when we needed to. And you know, we knew coming in that this was going to be a, a really good test for us. They're they're a veteran team. Um, you know, that they have six of their top seven scorers coming back, and uh, so we knew we had our hands full. And um, you know, they gave us everything that uh, we could handle. And but I'm just really proud of our the fact that we just kept fighting, um, and there was you know, and we didn't quit. And, uh, you know, th there's a lot of great things. Um, you know, I thought Marley's leadership and her want to um, was unbelievable, you know, and um, that helped, you know, that helped. And when, when it got tough, you know, she just, you know, continued to tell everyone, like, guys, we got this, we got this. Let's just the next possession, next possession. And so, um, but really proud of, uh, you know, the execution down the stretch and, you know, some big shots by Bella, uh, no question about that. So uh, great, great win for uh, the program. Uh, great, uh, you know, uh, just to see our, our, our players fight, uh, not quit, and uh, and do everything uh, that they need to do in order to get this one tonight. Coach, you obviously speak about the pizza a lot. You think it's a very good program, but it must be a, a big relief to finally get that first win and just go on from there. Yeah, I mean, you know, win one, you know, it, I, I think it's special no matter where you are. And um, I'm just happy for our players, you know, and, and, and – they know what practice is like each and every single day, you know, and, and it, they think I'm crazy, and, and that's okay. You know, I've been married for 25 years, and I hear it every day, but uh, that's another conversation. Um, but there's a method to my madness, you know, and so I'm their opponent each and every single day, you know, and, and practice is – it's not easy, you know, and I'm sure Jayla could attest to that. It's not easy, um, but it's worth it, you know. When, when, when you get these types of results – Okay, like you, you start to like feel and, and you start to see why we do the things that that we're doing. And again, I'm just so proud of our, 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 our you know, players um, and everything that uh, in their effort here tonight. Jalen, 14 points in your pit debut. Was it what you expected? Yes, it was what I expected. Um, with how I played, honestly, coach and the rest of the staff gets us more than prepared for our next game and everything like that. So, yeah, I was pretty prepared, and I'm happy to be here. So, yeah. Coach, were you surprised you didn't foul on that last possession? You guys are up by, like, what, 35 seconds to go, and you take the foul? Yeah, I mean, and I was going to milk the whole entire clock. You know, I was expecting them. You know, I was going to call a timeout and advance the ball up the floor, and then I'm like, ah, you know, let's see what they do here. And, you know, like, I'm thinking, okay, we're going to inbound the ball. They're going to, you know, try to trap, trap and that's fine because we would have passed it to – Leah too, and she would have got fouled and went to the line or whatever. But when they didn't foul, we and I was like, okay, just bring it up the floor, and we ran out the whole clock until 10 seconds, and then ran out of ball screen. So, um, <clears throat> you know, uh, that's fine. That's what they chose <coughs> to do. Um, you know, and uh, you know, I, regardless of what they did, I, I just thought that our execution down the stretch was on point, and I'm just super proud of our players. Honestly, nothing. I just let it fly. I was in rhythm, um, and I felt confident shooting the ball. And when I don't think it goes in, so I just let it fly. <laughs> Have deep points like that up your alley? Is that something you do often? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I enjoy it, but if it's not a good shot or I feel like we can get something better, then definitely I won't shoot it. Tonight was a great shot. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Well, from the start of July, June, 
July. Yeah. There you go. Um, coach has been instilling us like hard work and pushing each other. So every day in practice, we try to push each other, and we sometimes are super physical. And like you know, tonight we didn't get as many calls on our side, but you know, like we're just tough, and we kind of expected that. So yeah, we're just tough, I guess. Now. It was very important, you know, and I just felt like, you know, from the get-go, I thought that, you know, we're pressing a little bit and, and, and taking some ill-advised shots. And, you know, we coming into the game, we wanted to pound the ball inside, you know, and, and I thought that there was an advantage for us there, um, knowing that they're going to play a little bit smaller. And um, we didn't do that. We, you know, we came out, we started just shooting a lot of perimeter shots. And so, um, you know, when, when you start attacking the inside, what it does is it opens up the outside. You know, and so, uh, you know, we'll look at that and we'll continue to teach. And, you know, I think that uh, when we finally started to attack downhill, I, I think Bella did a really good job of that. And, and, and so did Marley atta attacking downhill and getting layups. Um, you know, um, it like it, it, it opened up, you know, and, and we were able to score. It, we kind of got a little separation. I believe it went up to, what, 10, I think, at one point in time. You know, and, and so we just can't fall in love with the threes. You know, we want to attack downhill. We want it, we want to get high percentage shots and we want to get you know, we want to get to the free throw line. Coach, obviously you guys had a pretty solid night. Yeah. Early in the game. What made you think? No, I mean you know I I think Leah too is you know one of the best scoring forwards probably in the league, and um, you know and I, I think the foul trouble kind of took her you know um, hurt a little bit you know and, and uh, she just couldn't be who she was and. Um, you know, and, and that's something that, you know, she's got to fight through and, and she's got to figure out how to play with four fouls. And, um, you know, but uh, we wanted to go to her and uh, we wanted, you know, to, to get her some isos on the block and because uh, we know that it's high percent of shot, um, you know, or, or, or it's, and, and it's going to go in, you know. So, um, you know, the ball's in really good hands there. Coach, rebounding margin wasn't huge because mm -hmm. Right. And that's what she does, you know, and uh, we see it each and every single day, yeah. you know, and uh, sometimes, you know, we see more, um, you know, than 11, right? I believe she had 11, 11 right? And, and so, um, but that's her game. You know, she's relentless um, and uh, she's a warrior and she's going to continue to do that. And we just got to be smarter. Um, our front court players, you know, we, we just can't foul. You know, we, we got to play defense with our feet and we got to stay down um, and not get so eager to block shots. You know, uh, we talk all, all the time, you know, about, like, rotating over and picking up charges, right? When you block a shot, you necessarily don't get the ball, right? <laughs> but if you rotate over and pick up a charge, like, you know, it's following them and you get the ball. You know, so I like, you know, number two, right? And, and sometimes our players get really excited about number one. So we're gonna, that's, a, that's something we're going to work on. Yeah. Yeah, you know, the, the plan was to contain her dribble penetration. You know, we knew that she was a dynamic scoring guard, and, you know, she was really crafty with the ball. And, uh, you know, I played – you know, we when I was at UMass last year, we played Yale, and so I knew exactly who she was, and I knew what she was going to do tonight. And they wanted to come up here and, and, and play here so that, she, you know, they could bring her home, you know. And I'm not sure what I was thinking, you know, <laughs> when we decided to play them. But uh, I'm glad we did, you know, because this was a test. And, and we're going to build off of this. You know, but uh, we wanted to really, you know, contain our dribble penetration, keep to one side. You know, I, I, I think, you know, uh, we'll go back and, and we're going to learn from it because uh, I think that we can improve. Um, we could get better systematically, and we will. We will. And I think, you know, first game out, um, you know, there's a lot of emotions going on, and, uh, you know, uh, I think we just needed to settle down just a little bit. Then I thought that we started to execute a little bit better in the second period. Mm. Can I go first? Sure. <laughs> I feel like I've gained confidence, and I know that I have a coaching staff that's rooting for me and that wants the best for me, so that kind of instills more, like, confidence and, you know, just, like, the want to. So I'm very grateful to be in this situation. Can you ask the question again, please? <laughs> Well, 
Oh, yeah. I mean, from the jump, even my visit, I could just tell there was something there within trust. And, you know, it's not always perfect, but having a good relationship with, with your coaches, all of them, the whole staff helps a lot. And he trusts us. We trust him. And it just makes you want to fight and play for not only yourself and your teammates, but also for for a coach. You know, this is his first win at Pitt. So that's a big deal. Um, we want to do it all for each other. You know, I think for myself, it, it, it's just um, one, you know, regardless of who I'm coaching, where I'm coaching, I'm going to give it my all. And it, it doesn't change, you know. And that's why I said, like, you know, like every game matters. And this isn't a rebuilding year. Like, that, like when you say rebuilding, that, that's like an excuse to be mediocre. Mm. We're not rebuilding. Like I expect to go out there and compete each and every single night and, and put ourselves in a position to win. And so um, I'm just thankful that uh, I get to work with these guys every day. And, um, you know, it, it, I'm blessed. I, I really am. I'm in a great situation. I love where I'm working. I love my staff. I love – working with these guys it's fun it really is you know and just to watch them you know compete each and every single day and just who they are as people and um you know i think for me personally um it, my goal and what i need to do i need to challenge them i need to challenge them every single day because if i don't challenge them right then i'm failing them and my job is to push them and get them to go beyond, you know, where they can, you know, physically go. And, you know, at, at times there may be players who, like, they're, they're exhausted and they want to quit. But I tell them that we got to be tougher. we got to have a toughness about us. And, like, when you're exhausted, like, you got to find a way to just keep going. Because the teams that don't win, they stop. The teams that do win, they keep going. And I think that's something that we're learning. But I, I'm truly blessed to work with these guys each and every single day. And I'm having a lot of fun. And, um, you know, t tonight was, was just great. It was great for them, great for our fans, uh, and great for the program. Coach, you obviously are taking on a much bigger on Saturday, yeah. but Matt Del Hall seems to gain interest in that game. Um, what's the interest in that? And what's kind of your – You know, for me personally, it, it's the next game. And so we're going to do what we do. You know, we're going to prepare. Um, we're we're, we're going to have a great strategy put in place. Uh, we're going to continue to teach. We're going to look at, you know, this film um, and see where we, you know, I already know, but where we need to grow, you know, and get better at and uh, just keep grinding. You know, if we could just get this much better, can we get a little bit cleaner defensively? Absolutely. And if we do that, you know, then, then we're already ahead of the game. You know, but regardless, you know, if it's West Virginia or somebody else, like it's, it's the same because a win's a win. Wins a win, you know, and so I don't care if it's if, if we're playing Georgia, West Virginia, or, you know, anyone else. It's the next game, and it's the biggest game of the season because it's the next game. All right, thanks, guys. Thank you. Oh, he had something back there. He had something. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, that was so sweet. Have a great one.